Good morning. Man, 3.30 in the morning. Can't get over to the Walmart. About another half hour or so. They'll let you in an hour early. But, um, sitting here watching the trucker's table. If you're not subscribed to the trucker's table, well, you should be. He's over in Bristol, baby. Bristol. Never went over there. Hit up Daytona a couple times. Bristol would be sweet. Man. Well. Whenever we get over to the Walmart over there, we'll get checked in and let you know what's going on. Let's get started. Tandem slid back forward. Uh, oh yeah. Alright. Not too bad, I guess. Not too bad. Uh Walmart. Time we check in. Four thirty ish. People always want to talk. They gotta come tell me how beautiful they is. <laughs> I already know that. That dude was in there earlier talking my ear off, man. Ah! Oh. <laughs> but I guess I take it all back since he's, he said nice things about Leia, so I guess he's an all right guy. But uh, we uh, we checked in about 4.30. It's a little bit after 8 now. They, uh... I think my paperwork was ready about 7.40 ish around there somewhere. All in all, it's not too bad. So we're gonna figure out our other load good and bad good the place doesn't open up till 10 10 a.m. and it's only 8 10 so we're gonna cruise back over to the TA maybe we'll go inside and get us a little bit of breakfast some coffee because it's probably gonna be a long day today so all the rest all the rest we can get now when we go through this checkout process we can get on out of here yeah 
we're back at the TA. So our pickup, I don't see how far away it is. It wasn't that far, I don't believe. Pickup in San Marcos. Just a little bit farther north of here. Fourteen miles. Except my appointment. Hey, it's my twin. My appointment is for uh, 11 a.m. They said they don't open up till 10 a.m. So. paperwork look at this stuff here look at all this paperwork this is just for one trip this is the first stop and this is the second stop and you gotta turn in all your paperwork so sometimes I would just turn in like just the top page but when it says like one of two there's two of two then there's this is one of two two of two and they're all different bill of lading numbers, so gotta turn them all in. So we're gonna go inside, get a little bit to bite to eat, bite to eat. Then we'll be all ready to go get picked up. So uh, turn all my paperwork in. <laughs> all right, we'll talk to you guys a little bit. All right, so after about a half hour's worth of phone calls. Here at my customer, or actually my shipper. Woo! That was close. The old broker. Can I say he lied or? fibbed or didn't exactly tell the truth or just didn't give me all the information one of those when he sent me the Raycon I called him I said hey man there's no no pickup number no shipping number oh you don't need that I'm like, are you sure He's like yeah all you need is this order number we do these loads all the time all right cool no problem which is possible but not in this case. I mean, that does happen from time to time. So naturally when I show up here, and they're like, oh, you need pickup number, starts with 149. And guess what I don't have? <laughs> Golly. So about 45 minutes, oh, that was, ah, that was kind of stretched a little there. Probably a half hour's worth of phone calls and stuff on a Sunday at that, trying to get a hold of somebody. Finally, we get a hold of somebody. And she gives me the 149 number in like, you know, 15 seconds. One of those uphill docks with the automatic is glorious. Man, Lay, come on. All right, loading. All right, hold on, oh crap. Hold on, go, 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 go. I was gonna carry her. <laughs> I know that's how I get over there. There you go. We're at the, let's come down here. 
Hey, down here, down here, down here, down here. We were at the TA there in New Braunfels yesterday and I took her outside. And you could tell her she's doing one of these deals. That ground was, must have been blazing, man. So I thought this time, I was like, well, maybe I'll just carry her over. But she jumped out before I can do it. <laughs> but, uh, hey, come on, stay away from there. It's nasty. So we got here, and after a little while, they finally, we got everything figured out. We'll be getting loaded now. But get this, here's the deal. So, oh, what's this? Oh, evacuation. Oh. Um, so I got this load that goes to Atlanta that can deliver tomorrow between 8 and 5 or Tuesday 8 and 5. Don't go over there. But if I can get this thing delivered tomorrow between 8 and 5, I can have me a, a $6,000 week, which is... Huh. In this market, six thousand dollars is that's pretty damn good. I don't care. I don't care what you're saying, but uh, and still that'll catch me up because when I was home for a while because the truck was in the shop and doing all that crap, I got behind on my fixed costs and blah 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 blah. Yeah, we don't have to go into that crap. But this can like help me big time get out of a little bit of a rut. So that's good stuff. But today we're gonna have to push. We gotta get. I like to get into it. I was gonna say Atlanta. <laughs> it's like 900 and we'll just say 50 miles. We're in San Marcos, just right on the 35. So now I gotta get back down to I-10. Then I-10 to. Hold on. 65. We, me, me and Daniel are just talking to this. 65 to 20 to 85. There we go. But I have to. I don't have to, but I'd like to get into Alabama tonight or as close as I can get. Then I can reassure me that I know I can make it tomorrow by 5 o'clock, get delivered, and I can send in my bills. 6000 It'll be almost $6,100, actually. But, and if we want to count the uh, detention, uh, sometimes that can take a while, so I'm not even banking on that, so... For right now, we're here in San Marcos. Tortillas! It's probably not even gonna be the tortillas, it's probably like those big, I walked in, all I seen was like big sacks of like flour and stuff, so I'm assuming that's probably what it is. I couldn't get that lucky and get like the pre-made stuff. <laughs> That'd be awesome if we did. But I'm glad he didn't say anything, because I went in there and checked in. It said, uh, chalk your wheels, and turn off your engine while loading. Man, get out of here. It's like 100 degrees out here, man. You be nuts. Sure, I'll turn the truck off. Me and Leia's coming inside. <laughs> Are you done? Come on, let's go. Let's get back to the truck. Come on, Slowpoke. She's probably not even walking. Come on. Uh, what are you doing? Come on. It's Grasshopper. Come on. Silly. Hey, come on. Come on. We gotta go to the truck. This way. Oh, uh, she's not done. All right. Well, she's gonna take her deal. Oh, well, it looks like they're loading. All right. We'll check in just a little bit. Hey. Let's go, silly.